Hey guys, so I made a video about uh, setting up the inverter, uh, getting it all up and running, and I had just I lost all the footage. I was trying to clear out some space on my phone because um, it needed some. My phone needed space to compile. I just use a uh, iPhone X uh, uh, XS for for all this all these videos that I make, and uh, unfortunately, I deleted the files uh, trying to make room for uh, more files. So. I'm going to start all over and I'm, this is going to be obviously a lot quicker because uh, I have it all up and running. Uh, this is the inverter right there <laughs> and I'm super excited. It's my Tesla battery pack is now powering my entire house through this inverter that I picked up. Uh, I'm going to flip the camera around and I'll show you some of the stuff go that's going on. Uh, but very cool. I I'm pretty excited about this. Here we go. All right, guys. So here is my original T-Rex. Um, this is a 40 kilowatt hour pack. It's almost brand new. Um, so it still has 40, 41 kilowatt hours uh, of usable space. So I have everything connected, running. Um, we can see, if you can see that it's uh, 354 volts. Uh, I'm only pulling three and a half amps out of this right now, going to my house. This is the contactors are closed. And then it's showing the high low uh, cell voltages and temperature and right now it's 31.5 kilowatt hours remaining and then over here uh, this is the the inverter that I picked up uh, a couple weeks ago and right here on the display it shows all, all, all my systems here I don't have any solar panels yet um, I, I'd like to get some at some point but for now this is really just a, a backup system, so when the power goes out, and uh, or if I have power in the battery pack that I want to use up, I can just connect it. Uh, so lots of options on here. It's all touchscreen. Very very cool system. Right now it's 0.2 kilowatts, so I'm really not using much at all. About about an amp. It's saying right now. What's this down to? Well, this still says 3.4. Uh, 0.7 kilowatts looks like is what my house is using right now. I can tap on this. Uh, it shows the different voltages for each phase. Very awesome system. Uh, super excited to have this. And what I did for wiring up here, actually I'll start right here in the battery pack. So I have an Anderson S XPS, uh, or no, S SBX. 350 connector and that's the same connector that I use for uh, the, the car to power the car uh, I have more connectors that I'm gonna have one on that T-Rex as well uh, so then I have six gauge uh, copper uh, stranded wire going to a switch here so I have this switch which I can quickly kill turn on or off I have this is the main power switch for the whole system and then this is just the contactors inside the battery pack. So I have a lot of ways to quickly turn this off. Um, so it goes into here. I think I have a good enough lead on here that I can um, I can move this around. I could even pull this out of the garage and point it inward or something. But um, yeah, so I think it's pretty good. So then it goes inside here, uh, comes up through the bottom, and then goes up to the battery here. Uh, the other wires right here are the load wires that go to my breaker panel, which I will show you that next. So they come in right here to a 60 amp breaker. Uh, these are also six gauge uh, wires. It was a N NM-B Romex wire. Um, and then I have my main contact or main switch turned off. So I should have an interconnect and at some point I might add some kind of automatic switching or something uh, but for now it's all manual and I I'm really good at double and triple checking all this stuff so um, yeah so that the connection to the grid is off uh, this is on when I want to shut the system down I would just shut this off I would then turn this off and also there's a switch here for the battery that I would switch off and then obviously turn off the battery pack here uh, so lots of switches to turn off, and then after everything is, is done, I would flip the main breaker or main switch back on. So everything is working. It took me a few days. 
to, to get the wiring right, I had to do, well, not so much the wiring. I had to have, I had to wait for wiring to show up. I had to order this. Uh, there was some programming that I had to work on. Uh, I've never done this before, never had one of these before, so there was a lot of settings I had to do. Uh, but in the end, I got everything connected. Um, it's been working all morning so far. I'm going to let it go and see how things go, see how long this battery pack lasts. Uh, based on my usage for my house, I, I think it'll last two days, uh, but we'll see. I mean, of course, it always depends on how much power you need. Um, but yeah, and it's pretty cool. I'm pretty happy to have all this thing up and running. And for now, it's just a, a backup system, but at some point, I do want to get solar panels, and, and then that'll help recharge this battery, and I would be I could be totally off-grid, because this unit is capable of being on-grid, off-grid. Um, I can use it for wind, I can use it for solar, and obviously the battery pack, so very cool. See you guys.